guys, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of our garden. And it's more like an update video to our last tour. So first, let's start with waistband one. And then let's go to two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to go over all of the raised beds. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. So first, I'm going to go with raised bed one. So in raised bed one, everything is doing well. I have beams, I have gongura, that's a type of amaranth. And amaranth, that's doing really great. It's almost ready to harvest. And right behind that, there was amaranth, and we already harvested that. And that was really tasty. And that's why there's a space in between that row. And then after that, we have beans. The beans, they're not doing too well, but they're good. Like, um, the leaves are yellow because of less nitrogen. But since they're bush beans, they have a lot, uh, much lesser lifetime. And they're already starting to produce. So I'm going to pull them out soon anyways. Next, we have our eggplants uh, in raised bed 2. Raised bed 2 is filled with 12 eggplants. And that's a lot of eggplants for one raised bed. But remember, it doesn't matter about spacing too much in raised beds because there's much more fertility and less competition. And the two different varieties that we have are the long uh, Ichibian variety. That's the long variety, like this long and they can get up to that long. And then we have the bigger variety, if I'm right, it's the big boy. Um, they are around, I, I'd say around one, one and a half feet tall, both varieties. And especially the Ichibian, we already harvested a few of them, and both varieties are fully loaded with eggplants and flowers. Next, in raised bed three, the long raised bed, that's from there to there, we have tomatoes on that side, so we have the f we have a really cool variety, and it's a heavy variety. It's actually called Kellogg's Breakfast. It's a yellow tomato. It's a beefsteak. After that, we have our that's in the corner, and the other five varieties are, um, if I'm right, they are celebrity tomatoes. Those are determinate tomatoes, so they don't need staking, like my other indeterminate tomatoes. Next, right next to those, I have corn. I have two different varieties of corn there. Um, I have sweet corn and the blue Hopi corn, and that's a really cool Indian corn. Next, after the corn, I have my wine section. Over here in the wine section, I have one very cool Indian vegetable. I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but it's either a bottle, cor bottle gourd or a rich gourd. All I know that it's, it is an Indian vegetable because uh, in the greenhouse accident, they all fell and this was the only one that was intact and I knew that it was an Indian vegetable. Line. And after that, I have some watermelons and then I have two different varieties of cucumbers. And in the middle, I have some baby cantaloupes that I got from, uh, that I grew from seeds. I also have some marigolds as decoration and to make a few of the bugs go away. And it repels because of its smell, and it smells beautifully for us too. After that, I have the okra, or ladies finger in English. So, okra is just starting to pick up uh, because Okra needs the really warm nights and hot days, and now it's starting to give us a few okras every day. But that is just in the starting; they're just in the starting stages. They'll get really high soon, and they are fully loaded. So we're gonna get bountiful okra harvest soon. Right next to the okra, we have the indeterminate tomatoes. So we have one um, cherry tomato that's growing in the back corner. And that is, if I'm right, the husky cherry tomato. And everything is staked. And the rest of those tomatoes in the corner are big boy or early girl. I'm not 100% sure because in the greenhouse accident, again, I, uh, in raised bed four, I have potatoes. And the most exciting part about the potatoes is they're almost ready to harvest. Um, 
and if you remove the mulch a little bit, you can also find one uh, one baby potato sticking up. So as soon as the plants fully die, I'm going to dig those potatoes out, and that's going to be an epic harvest, because you don't know how much you're going to get. Next, after that, we have the peppers. We have multiple varieties in this one raised bed, in raised bed 6. Uh, if I'm right, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, actually raised bed 5. We have multiple different pepper varieties. And first, let's start with the Thai pepper. That's a classic pepper in Asian cuisine. That's why we have it. Next, after that, we have the Carolina Reaper. It's the spiciest pepper in the world. And that's really, really, that's why I'm really excited to grow that. Um, after that, I have some yellow bells, and I have a really cool pepper called the Mad Hatter pepper. Um, it produces these really cool peppers, actually, like a hat, small little hats. And then after that, right next to the Mad Hatters, we have some Fresno chilies. Those are doing pretty good. They have lots of flowers on them and a few fruits, actually. Right next to the Fresnos, I have two bushes of Anaheims. The Anaheims have been our most prolific pepper producer. They're not too spicy, but they just produce so prolifically. Uh, we harvested at least 15 to 20 peppers from them till now. Right behind, actually, the Anaheim peppers, I have more green bells. And I like to keep repeating this, but all Bells, peppers, name it, uh, they all turn into another color other than green. So that's something. Right after that, I have my zucchinis or squash. We already harvested one squash and it was a pretty big one. Um, I actually removed a ton of them. Like I had six over here and I think I removed three of them. And I cut a lot of the stems and trimmed it all up and we had tons of waste. And that all went into the compost, by the way, and we didn't waste anything. Right next to these, we have the amaranth, or that's called, um, yeah, that's the amaranth, or totopora in our language. And in front of totopora, we have a small little herb section. Um, we have some chives, we have some small garlic starting to sprout. Uh, those garlics we're going to be using for the leaves. And we have an organo plant that's starting to dry out, but that's okay because it will pop up back in the winter because of the intense heat. Uh, that's our video. I'm Sakul Bhimari Sajji from the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. And bye. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please cultivate that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already.